What is up guys and welcome to this Mobrise tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to convert this bootstrap block into a fully functional Mobrise block. So if you haven't watched my earlier videos on this topic, I suggest you go ahead and watch those first. Uh, they're a bit more beginner friendly and shows you some of the basics that I'll be skipping over in this video. This video is going to show you how to optimize your workflow and how to do things as fast as possible. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to put a link to this article in the description box below. So go ahead and click on it and then scroll down until you see the HTML and CSS code. For this video, we'll only be using the HTML code. So go ahead and copy that. Then open up Mobrize, go to add block to page and you can select any pre-existing block, which one you choose does not matter. So I'm going to select this one right here. Then go to edit code and I'm going to replace all of the HTML code. And I'm also going to remove the CSS code from here. Then go ahead and click save and close. And that's our basic markup. Okay, so the first thing we want to do now is make it so that we can edit the text from the site styles panel here. For example, if we try to change the font size of the uh, title, nothing's going to happen. So the way we do that is by adding a couple of mobilized clauses to the text. And the fastest way to do it is by copying all the clauses from another block. So I'm going to re-add this block to the page then go to edit code and find a text element. So we got the H1 element right here. Then copy everything from the clause to the display here. Uh, you can skip the if statement because that's just gonna disable our text. So copy everything from the clause to the display here. Then do save and close. And now we're going to add this to all of our text elements. So starting at the top, we got the H1, then we got the H2, H3, uh, paragraph, H3, paragraph, H3, and paragraph. Now, if we go ahead and save and close this, all the text is going to be bold, and all the text is going to be uh, the largest size, the H1. And the reason why is because, first of all, the MBR bold class is uh, selected for all our text elements. And secondly, we use the display um, one for all the text elements when, in fact, we should only be using it for the H1. So let's go ahead and change the display option first. So for the first, first one, like I said, we can keep it at display one. Second one should be at display two. And then for the H3 elements, we should do display 5. And for the text, we should do display 7. Like so. I'm also going to go ahead and remove the bold clause from... I'll begin by removing it from everything. So just get rid of all of the bold classes. Like so. Click save and close and you can see that it looks already a lot better. So the next thing we can do is actually change the font sizes. I'm going to do 2.2 for the top one. I'll do something like 1.6 for the title 2. And then for the title 3 I'm going to do... I'll leave it at 1 for now. We'll change that later. And then I'm also going to change the font, so I'm going to select Nunito. I'm going to set all the text to Nunito. Like so. And the next thing we can do is change the titles here to be red, like in the um, original. So to grab that red file, I'm going to go to live preview here and I'm going to inspect this element and copy the color. And then I'm going to go into the code editor and I'm going to do h3 
color and then just paste that in. So it's FB0007. Click save and close. And that's going to fix that for us. And for this text, actually, I think I'm going to make it bold. So you can either re add that clause to uh, all the elements or just uh, select it from inside the editor right here. Okay, so let's see if we need to make that text a bit bigger or if it's good. So by the looks of it, it should be a little bit bigger. So maybe like 1.1 for the font size, maybe 1.2. Leave it at 1.1 for now, seems to look pretty good. So the next thing we want to do now is actually add a background color. And we might also add the option to have a background image. So again, the fastest way to do this is by copying it from another, another block. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to this block right here, go to edit code, and I'm going to select the CSS from here, save and close, and add it to our block. I'm going to add it above the H3 tag here. And when I save now, it's going to mess up our design because we didn't add the parameters yet. So again, scroll down to this block right here, and you want to copy all of the MBR parameters here. Copy those, then go up here, go to edit code, and between the container and the uh, main section is where you want to paste these in. And let's see which one we don't need right now. We don't need the arrow title. We don't need anything from the arrow down to the buttons. And we also don't need the full screen feature right here. You can obviously leave this in if you want to, but I'm not going to. And then since we removed the full screen, we can remove this condition right here. And we can also remove this end when not full screen right there. So that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and save and close. And as you can see, now we can set a background image or a background color. Also going to remove this video right here. Don't don't need that. Like so. So I'm gonna set the background color to white. And let's see. Now the next thing we want to do is uh, fix the button. So again, let's go ahead and borrow some code from another block. So I'm going to go to edit code here and I'm going to find where that button is. It's right here. So copy this whole div, copy, then go into our code and find our button, which is right here, replace it with the code we copied before. And then since we are only going to be using one button, I can remove this one right here. Also going to change the link here to be blank. And then I'll change the text to download now or something like that. And let's see, oh, looks pretty good. I'll click save and close and our button disappeared. Let's see what went wrong here. Oh yeah, I accidentally left the if statement in here, which is by default going to set, be set to false. So that's going to make the button not show up. So remove that. We'll add it in later on. Click save and close and there's our button. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off rounded buttons and I'm also going to make it black like so. And I might make it a little bit smaller, so 0 0.9 maybe. And let's see, the next thing I want to do is add the icon I have right here, so the little apple. And again, the fastest way to do it is by selecting a block that has that feature. So here we've got some icons. Then go to uh, click on, on the icon and change it to the one that you want. So I'm going to do Apple here. And I'm going to select the Apple from the Font Awesome collection. 
um, then go to edit code and we want to find it in the code here so it's right here span mbr icon clause mbr icon font yada yada copy that then go up to our code and right before the download text if i can find that right here is where you want to paste that in go ahead and click save and close and that's looking pretty good already, but I'm probably gonna set the font size to a little bit smaller, maybe 18 pixels, something like that. And another problem that I can see is that the button has some weird margin here to the side where it's not uh, pushed all the way out. So let me go ahead and see why that's happening. So I'm gonna inspect this. And yeah, it seems to have some uh, margin set to it. So I want to copy this class name right here. Let me go ahead and close this. Then go to edit code. And in here, I'm going to paste that class name in. So BTN MD. And I'm going to select the uh, set the margin to zero. And also type in important so Mobilize doesn't overwrite this CSS and then save and close uh, oops forgot the column there margin zero important and uh, that fixed that for us okay so let's do some more comparisons here um, I feel like this text should be a little bit bigger and we need to add some uh, increase the line height a little bit so let's make the text what's the title to here let's set it to 1.8 maybe is that better uh, that's all right I guess and then let's make the Make sure that it's completely black, the color here. I don't know if that did anything. And uh, let's uh, increase the line height. So in the H2 right here, I'm going to do line height. So I'm going to set it to 1.4 px. See what that looks like. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, maybe just 1.4. There we go. So that's looking pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. I think we need to increase the font weight of the text a little bit. So let's try something like font weight 600. Uh, that's too thick. What about 500? That's uh, still th too thick. I guess we maybe we should leave it at 400 then. Make it a little bit smaller again. Now it's too big. So it is 0 0.6. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's all right. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is increase the space between the text and the button. So to do that, what you want to do is go to edit code. And you see all these PB3, it says that the padding bottom is set to 3. So for the H2 element here, I'm going to set the padding bottom to be 5. Save and close, and that's going to give us some more padding there. Let's compare, it's looking pretty good. Obviously it's not perfect, but uh, uh, you can play around with this and make it look as uh, good as possible. But in the interest of saving some time, I'm not go going to be doing that. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is uh, maybe change the color of the text here and also increase the line height for the uh, paragraph text. So let's do that right here paragraph and let's try line height how about 1.2 how about that did that do anything 
Okay, I guess that was the default value. Let's set this to 1.4 as well. And that is looking pretty good. So now let's change the color here to sort of a gray, maybe a little bit darker than that. Uh, something like that. That looks good. And I feel like it's a bit too much space from the H3, so I'm gonna set the PB bottom here to 2 for the H3 elements. Whoops, not 23, 2. Save and close. And that is looking pretty damn good. We also need to change the line height for the header right there. So let's go to edit code and do H1. And since Mobira has created a new style thing here, I'm gonna remove this one. And here I'm gonna set the line height to 1.4 as well. Save and close. And that is looking pretty damn good. Okay, like I said, it's not perfect. Actually, let's try to set this to like 1.5. Like I said, it's not perfect, but uh, it's pretty damn close. You can play around with this yourself and make it as perfect as you want. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is uh, I'm going to show you how to turn on and off elements on the screen. But uh, I'm just going to show you for one or two how, how, how you can do it, and then you can apply the same uh, principles to everything that you want to be able to turn on and off. Okay, so to turn off an element, all you need to do is create a new block parameter. So I'm going to do input type and something like um, checkbox. Give it a title. We'll call it show show title, and then give the variable name. So s h one. Uh, short for show h1 and then close that out and then go down to the h1 element and you want to type mbr if sh1 so now when this checkbox is checked uh, this element is going to show up and if it's not checked it is not going to show up so let's go ahead and save and close see if that works let's try to turn it on off seems to be working as it should okay i'll do one more and then you can add it to um the rest of the elements yourself so i'll do the button right now so let's go to edit code here let's copy this paste it in here change it to sp for show button change this to show button and then go down to the div where our button is and I'll put it right here after the clause mbr if and then sp click save and close and now we should be able to turn on and off the button as well so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one